All right, the terrorist convicted in the 1993 World Trade Center bombing is now suing the United States. He says his religious rights are being violated in prison because his meals aren't catered to his Islamic beliefs and he's not been given a Muslim prayer leader. You're not a react to this as a man who lost his father to a terrorist attack in New York back in 1975 and then lost his cousin on 9-11. Joe Connor joins us now. Joe, thank you so much for coming in this morning. Thanks for I can me. I can imagine uh, after what you've been through that stories like this uh, drive you crazy. Yeah, he. this is a religious issue for him. He, we're not giving him his religious rights. What about the f six people that were murdered that day and the unborn baby that were murdered that day? What about the 100,000 people that they plan to kill? They brought a bomb in that was 1,200 pounds of nitrates. They expected to knock one tower into the other and kill 100,000 people. That was their goal. Right. Now, the fact that they failed and only killed six people, look, my father was killed in a bombing that killed four. And for the people who get killed, it's no less a tragedy right. than the ones, who, yeah. than there were thousands. So this guy wanted to kill 100,000 or more Americans because of our religions, Jew, Christian, whatever. And now he beliefs, now yeah. he expects us to cater to um, the the food that he that he's eating. This, this enough. We're in a war. Let's fight it like a war. If you were watching right now, what would you say to him? I would say tough. You know, you, you've been you've been treated as fairly as a human being can be treated for what you did. If this was the if the tides had turned and there was an American caught by Al Qaeda, right. he would have been beheaded or right. he'd been disemboweled. He, he's look, I was at Guantanamo Bay and I've seen how well these guys are treated for given what they've for done. What they've done. Yeah. And he's no different. I mean, he was a enemy combatant in a time when we didn't recognize enemy combatants. Here's here's an interesting part of this, um, as well as the food as an issue. The lawyer says that listening to somebody speak about views contrary to his own violates his rights in prison. This is talking about he wants his own imam in prison. Yeah. But if, if you are a radical Muslim, that's not a normal Muslim. So he, is he requesting a radical cleric? He sounds like a radical A jihadist cleric is what like he's asking for in prison. Muslim to me. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, he has to have someone as radical. He, what, what does he want, the blind sheik to come back and, right. and, uh, and, and say what he wants to say? Because a, because a res, regular Muslim cleric is not, not going to do the job that. for him, right? right? right. Yeah. So, so he might as well be on a college campus, right? He wants to hear only what he wants to hear. He wants an echo chamber. Um, he's a snowflake Muslim, I guess, uh, radical. So, uh, yeah, he should only get, yeah. only hear what he wants to hear. It, it, it's, it's, it's a disgrace. It's a joke. How's your family doing? I mean, it's all these Thank years you. later, and you have situations like this where you're you're still, uh, unfortunately, yeah. drawn to those moments, to those <sighs> days. Yeah, we are. Well, last night, as a matter of fact, my wife and I went out for ice cream, and we ran into my cousin Gene, whose brother was killed on 9-11. And uh, we talk about this all the time, and we're, we're doing well. I mean, I wrote a book called Shattered Lives about this to try to get some closure to my dad and to Steve. And, uh, you know, I, I think as a family, we've done the best we can do. We don't dwell on things. We've, we all have our own lives and we've yeah. done well, but we never forget and we try to have justice. And just to let the viewers know, your father killed in a terror attack yeah. in 1975. It was a bombing by a group that was looking for Puerto Rican independence from the country. Right. Uh, and... President Obama commuted the sentence, not of one of the bombers in that case, but of a member of that group. Well, the Clintons offered clemency to the whole group in 99. Right. They, they accepted it. Um, Oscar Lopez re, uh, refused it. Right. I went to his prison, uh, his parole hearing in 2011. We kept him in. He was a leader of the group. I actually have pictures in my book of him outside Francis that day. I mean, that leniency um, must he be. He was there. He was a bomber. And uh, anyone who said, look, if you're a member of the conspiracy, you're responsible for all acts of that conspiracy. Yeah. Bin Laden didn't fly the planes, yet he was responsible for it. So, look, we... We, we have to fight this as a as a war. We're right. against terrorists. I wouldn't say terrorism. That's a tactic, but we got to fight it against a, against these terrorists. And and no stone unturned. Whether you're an Islamic or a Puerto Rican terrorist, uh, right. it, it's the same thing. Too soft, you think? Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you, you sir, very much. Here. Anytime, guys.